everyone, it's Isadora the Witch back again and I am talking to you about a brand new 3 Marignan product today which is really really exciting for me. Uh, one of the things that we actually make in-house and this is completely made from scratch by my partner is actually these amazing travelling witch altar boxes. So this is basically set up so that whoever's going anywhere in the world they can take a little piece of witchery with them and you can just pack it away and unpack it wherever you need to be. So this is the box. It's really beautiful. It's made of a super light wood, so it's actually really easy to move around and it won't weigh down your luggage that much, but stained to be a really beautiful sort of rich color. I love, particularly love this one. It has feet. How amazing is that? I just adore little feet on things and this is so cute. It's got a really nice little latch and everything else. Lots of brass fittings. You unlatch it like so because it's actually a little bit locking as well. And this is the, how the inside comes out looking. So I'll walk you through a bit of it. Um, so you can have a kind of a look at what's in this. What I particularly love is that once you've unpacked it and everything, it's got this really nice flat surface so you can actually use that as your altar space. So it's kind of already set up and a bit sacred rather than having to purify a new place every now and then. So, first of all, it comes with this really gorgeous mortar and pestle. It's a tiny little ceramic mortar and pestle. I use these quite a lot because they're really good for just making up little amounts of herbs or like little tiny like goodie bags things like that next there is three marigna black salt which is important because it's a really good sort of basic thing used for various spell work um, and so you know it's a really good basic thing to have on hand thus why is in our little box of tricks we also have some long burning tea light candles Importantly, spell bags. These are just really nice natural bags that you can use to make little mojo bags or spell bags. I love making spell bags because they're a really good way to just sort of get some daily stuff into your life. And um, I will take you all through making one later on to help out. Next, we have some resin. So what we've actually opted for is three crowns resin. And that is because Three Crowns Resin is a really nice blend of frankincense, myrrh and benzoin. So it's one of the ones that's got like a lot of like very strong cleansing uh, incenses. So you can really help create that sacred space and cleanse out an area and things like that. Plus it's a mix, so you get three for one. Lastly for that little compartment is a really gorgeous altar tile. So this is a really beautiful altar tile made from abalone shell and it looks like a flower and it's rainbowy. So you know, nice. Next we have handmade at Three Marigna, we have both moon water and Mars water. Should you ever be needing to get that level of mojo on. Then we have herbs of course. So this is all like a really good setup to make some really sort of basic spell working. We have witch hazel, juniper berries. I love juniper berries. They're my favorite thing to use in almost everything I make. Um, I don't know why the obsession is quite there, possibly due to Skyrim. It happens. Wormwood, Damiana, patchouli. Love it or hate it, it is still a really, really important herb. I know a lot of people are quite uh, divided about patchouli, whether they like it or not. Comfrey root. Lastly, we have some crystals because it wouldn't be three Meregna without some crystals. We have a really nice clear quartz cluster, which is perfectly set up for you know creating a nice space. It's good on your altar. It's even good to create like a purifying element and clear quartz is also said to boost the power of spells. And lastly, we have, I'm not gonna get them all out. I'm only gonna get two of them out because otherwise, hey, I haven't got four hands, is these gorgeous black tourmaline pieces. So we include back black tourmaline because it's actually used to kind of create a barrier around any kind of ritual workspace you're doing. So anytime you're doing anything spell based, it's really important to put a bit of black tourmaline around and that will just create an area for you to work in. 
that's like not going to get invaded by anything or you know you're leaving yourself pretty open so this kind of closes that down and creates a nice safe circle for you so that is our amazing traveling witch spell box um if you would like one we can custom make them absolutely we will be taking orders very very soon for them this one is going up on our Facebook very, very soon or will be available on our website. That is www.3maregna.com. I will write it in the little comments below because unfortunately I have a speech impediment and it really comes out with the R's of 3 Maregna. Thank you very much for listening and I will talk to you all again next time. Bye.